You know, you get back to the hotel and everything starts settling down. You know, just the whole emotions of the day and stuff. You know, everything leading up into that day, the week. So as um, you finally get back to that hotel, and, you know, after partying, after, you know, kicking with the guys after the win. And, uh, you know, you sit down and you realize, like, what's next? And it's like, you know, you settle in. It's the, you know, you try to be as humble as you can, but then, it, you know, it's like, I'm a Super Bowl champ. You know, I'm the champ. So, you know, it feels good. It feels good. It's like, like I said, after all that, after all that work, after all that dedication, you know, you spend six months trying to get to a place. Like I said, um, during the season, you trying to get to a place you've never been. You can be a champion anywhere. You know, it's just a mindset. It's, a, it's a actions involved with leading up into that. You know, um, it, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be in a sport. You know, you can be a champion in life. You can be a champion father. You can be a champion mom. Um, a champion at work, you know, whether it's a, a, a regular everyday job, you know, um, you can be a champion at just, it's a mindset you go to, you know, your preparation and things you do, um, how hard, how, how serious you take your, your craft, how serious you take your job. Um, I feel like that's being a champion, you know, how serious you take the, your job as being a parent, you know, I feel like that's being a champion parent, you know, you know things like that. Family. Um, I believe without family, you know, um, as a guy, as a guy who has a family, you know, I have kids. Um, as a guy who who enjoys it, you know, I genuinely enjoy it. You know, I've never understood why guys, you know, as fathers, you know, why you know who's absent from their kids' lives. And I, I never understood why they're absent. You know, I never understood, you know, growing up why why it's such an epidemic. You know, this whole as far as my skin color in particular, you know, or black the black culture, why it's not why it's so many absent fathers. You know, and um. You know, just myself growing up, you know, I, I see I see it all in my neighborhood, I see it in my own family. So just to have a chance, you know, my time around to become a father and to do things my way, you know, it's just, a, that's the best blessing and the best thing, you know, ever. Because, you know, I have my chance now. You know, it's not on, it's not me, it's, it's me doing the raise and it's me being the, the example. So that's the best part about it all. It's, it's the family, it's family, you know, best part of my life. The best advice I can give to a new father is to learn, learn, learn it step by step every day. You know, you not go, you not go learn it reading a book. You not go learn it looking at somebody else. Um, it's gonna take a, <laughs> it's gonna take a joint effort of all those things. You got to read some books. You gonna have to trial and trial and tribulation. Go through the trial and error stage. Um, you gonna get threw up on a couple of times. You know what I mean? You got to deal with the changing diapers, the baby poop, um, and some stuff you got to deal with. But you know, like I said, that's all the cool part about being a father. That's all the cool part about being a parent and learning the game of being a parent. You can learn the game of life and feel like you know the streets or feel like you know you know um, your sport, but man, that parenting game a whole different thing. And uh, once you learn that, you know, like I said, you know, you'll feel like you're solid then. When you hear the word Frank Clark, I want you to I want you to say your prayers. <laughs> I want you to say your prayers. <laughs> Frank and Nitty in the building. <laughs> hey, you gotta say your prayers when you hear Frank Clark. Cause you never know, man. You never know what you're gonna get out of me. Most times you're gonna get the good. Sometimes you get the crazy. You know, sometimes you get the lazy, but you no. Know, you gotta say your prayers when you hear Frank Clark. This is my little nerd fish. You know, I got the, the crew neck sweater on with the glasses, you know, see through frames, sort of, you know, a little bit of time, kind of different, but um, see through frames, you know, a little nerd look, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like a schoolboy right now, like, I, like, I, like I'm supposed to be in uniform or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Growing up, you were probably a big nerd, right? Yeah, I was a huge nerd, actually, man. I was like the, I was like the bad nerd, though. I was like the one who, who wanted to get it together but couldn't get it together. You know, I also caught me wanting to do all the bad things, but I was also, you know, a nerd. Like I said, 3.8 GPA, so everything was all great in school. I feel like kids, you um, I feel like they don't have enough choices, like to do what they want to do. Like you said, um, they don't they don't have the things available. I feel like that's the guys like us, the guys using our platform to. You know, teach these kids that it's, it's other things you can do. Like myself, and you know, I can be the best athlete in my own right. I can I can do everything I want to do as far as in this world athletics. But you know, why not be you know a book writer over here? Why not you know make clothes? Um, why not you know start a business and you know go into to real estate? Do whatever you want. But who says you just got to be an athlete?
Everything in life that you thought was hard up until this point wasn't nothing. At 17, yeah, that's 10 years ago. It's nine years ago. 10, June 14, but nine years ago right now. But I tell them, like, everything that you've been up, that you faced, all the adversity you faced up until this point, you can throw it out the window. You can throw it out the car. You can throw it all out because there's a lot more you got to go through. I never knew I, at, at 26 I'd go through the type of adversity, you know, in 10 years that I've never experienced my whole life. So that was the biggest thing. It was going through stuff between the age of 18, say my starting, you say starting with, you can say starting my senior year of high school, from the age of my senior year of high school all the way up until, you say this point, you know, dealing with, you know, to the successful stuff too, say like winning the Super Bowl. I never thought I'd go through and experience the things I've experienced in the last 10 years, you know? So I tell them, nah, you buckle up, man. You gotta buckle up, it's gonna be a wild ride. You know, I feel like that's what it'll be. Say your prayers. Say your prayers, man. You gotta say your prayers. Mm -hmm.